So the new weekly dividend ETFs are paying their first distribution this week and I'm absolutely buying up some shares of these dividend ETFs and in today's video I'm actually going to do a live trade for you guys. As you can see I have $762 in buying power. Today we're up about 1% in the portfolio just over $38,000. I made a few trades in my portfolio that I want to explain to you guys as well as we're going to do a live trade of the new weekly dividend ETFs. So I did some options trades today made a nice profit so as you can see my buying power went up as well as I sold 50 shares of PYPY so that gave me another $900 so I was able to put that into the weekly dividend ETFs as well so now my single stock ETFs of AMZ PYPY and Kony I have 50 shares each Ulti I have 50 shares each as well my single stock ETFs I'm trying to get a little less exposure to those and put that money into more diversified ETFs that pay maybe a lower yield but will give me greater diversification over the long run. These new dividend ETFs. So you can see here on the right I have XDTE 25 shares and QDTE I now have 45 shares. Let's take a look at my QDTE covered call strategy ETF and I have about $2,000 in here now. I would like to get about 50 shares of each of these. I'm going to build up these positions slowly. As you can see this one is down 0.03% today. Let's take a look at the past week. It's up 1.33%. And over the past month, basically since inception, price return alone is up 0.48%. Today is declaration day for these weekly dividend ETFs, and I'll show you that in a little bit and how much they're going to pay. But let's do a live trade here. So as you can see, my total return, I'm up 0.35%. My average cost is 46.18, and it's about 6.3% of my portfolio, and I do have 45 shares here. So let's put in a buy order, and let's put five more shares in since I have 45 shares already. Let's review this order, and then we can buy here, and then there we go shares purchased five shares at 46.32 total cost of 231 dollars now i have 50 shares of this dividend etf and why did i start out with the nasdaq one first well this one's going to have a higher yield and i'm going to see how this performs i like to test out these etfs and get about 50 to 100 shares to start and of course dollar cost average my way in so let's take a look at my history and i'll show you that today as well two hours ago you could see I bought 10 shares at 46.24 and I used the money that I got from PYPY to put into this ETF and then another 10 shares at 46.24 so in total today I bought another 25 shares I'm going to do this as well with XDTE but I'm going to wait a little bit because let's look at my buying power now I have $531 search around do some research on which dividend ETFs are going to be paying next I know FEPI's X dividend date is today as well so I could put some more money into FEPI. I did purchase a few more shares of FEPI last week so now I'm up to 37.48 so that's going to be my highest dividend yet ever from them. So let's take a look at the website, take a look at the distributions and some of the ex-dividend dates for these new ETFs. So these are by Roundhill. I have made a few videos on them so far and I'm enjoying what I'm seeing so far, but we haven't seen them pay out the dividends and what happens to the net asset value. So these ETFs, as we saw, are around $50 per share each. And this one is the NASDAQ 100. So it's the first ETF to utilize zero day to expiration options. And it's also the first dividend ETF that uses options and pays out on a weekly basis. High income potential, harness volatility, assets under management, 6.5 million so far, and the expense ratio is 0.95%. The holdings in here, you can see the NASDAQ, they have a 1696 call that expires in 2025 and a 120 call. This is like the mini NASDAQ and this is the actual index here. They have one expiring in 2024. And then they'll sell covered calls against their positions and that premium that they receive from doing so will be paid out to the shareholders. Let's scroll down here. The yield is still to be determined, but you can calculate that on your own with the share price and the amount that they're paying. So distribution calendar coming up, you could see that we're getting four payments in April for these dividend ETFs and their first payment in March is happening this week. So this is the distribution history. Today is declaration date. So 325. If you guys do want to buy
buy into these ETFs. Of course, not financial advice, but if you do want to get into these ETFs, 325, 2024, which is today, you would have to purchase this ETF to be able to get this dividend that's paid out on the 28th. So amount paid for QDTE is 36 cents per share. And we can't get too excited about this. I am excited about 36 cents for the first week payment, but this ETF has been out for about two to two and a half weeks, so maybe it'll be a little less for next week's payment. We'll see. Of course, I'll document it on this YouTube channel as well. And then they have the S&P 500 covered call ETF. This one I only have 25 shares of, so about half of my position of QDTE. And of course, we know the S&P 500 is less volatile, so it's going to have a lower dividend yield for this ETF because the premiums they receive are not going to be as high. With the S&P 500, you can say it's a little more safe because there's 500 companies in the S&P 500 versus the NASDAQ 100. So let's scroll down. We are the, about the same information as the other ETF. You can see they only have one call here, a 426.9 call, 83% weighting in their top holdings for now, and that one expires in 2025 as well. So they offer a long call, which is basically called a leap, which expires in a year or two, and then they write their covered calls against that long call. And then distribution yields to be determined for the 30-day SEC yield. Distribution yield to be determined. But like I said, you can do the calculation on your own to figure out the first dividend yield and what that distribution rate is. So same as the other one, four dividend payments that we'll get in April. And then their distribution history, same as the other one you have to get in today if you want to get this dividend on 328-2024. And it is 20 cents per share. It's kind of around half of QDTE distribution but we'll see in the future you know Nasdaq usually yields higher than the S&P 500 that's why I bought 25 more shares of QDTE today and we're going to see how well these perform over the next few weeks will the NAV decay fast like we've seen with QQQY, JEPY, and IWMY, or will it stay pretty stable, paying out massive dividends every single week? It's gonna be a tough task for these ETFs, and that's why I'm not throwing all of my money into these ETFs. Portfolio is doing well today. Just wanted to share that with you guys that I, I'm buying more of these weekly dividend ETFs and selling off some of my single stock yield max ETFs, as well as doing some options trading to be able to raise capital for these new purchases. So I haven't added any money into my portfolio in the past month or two, and it has been doing very well. And soon we're gonna hit $40,000 in the portfolio just from dividend investing. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.